Are you interested in leatherwork, historical items, shoes, purses, pouches, bags, sheaths, scabbards? If so, then you're probably going to be interested in this. We're going to kick off the leatherworking series by reviewing three books, uh, a couple old ones and a new one. So uh, let's, let's dig into it. We're going to start off with Stepping Through Time when... The London shoe book came out in the early 90s. It was revolutionary for the reenacting community. Stepping through time in 2001 really just blew that one away. Um, Olaf, who wrote the book, has been a curator or was a curator at uh, the museum that had access to thousands of pieces of uh, leather from different finds. And um, he would do reconstructions on the shoes to uh, come up with what they really look like. So in there he includes, and you'll see some, some photos of, but he covers um, all the different stitch types and closure types and how to finish the edges and, and all of that stuff, as well as the shapes of the shoes and categorizing them. Uh, it, it's just, it, it's an amazing uh, book if you're interested in, in making shoes. Uh, this is first edition, uh, so it doesn't have the title on the cover, um, but this is Stepping Through Time. You'll see down in the descriptions, I've got links for all three of these and the current prices from the museum in the Netherlands. The second book that we're going to go into is Purses and Pieces. This was done a few years later. Uh, Olaf mostly had it done when he died. One of his colleagues finished it up. Same kinds of detailed drawings discussing the how to put the pieces together, um, drawings of the, the angles and, and how the all the the back and forth of the pieces, some of them are pretty complex in how these purses are built. Uh, and without some of the cross-sectional drawings, it's really difficult to figure out. Even with the cross-sectional drawings, it can be a little difficult to figure out how some of these purses are put together. Um, but as, like the Stepping Through Time, this is a uh, an amazing book for uh, leatherworking of the pouches and cases and, and stuff. So if you're interested in that, I, I highly recommend you uh, take a look at that. The third book that we're going to uh, get into was just released uh, on in the middle of December. Um, I just got this copy last night. The had had a chance to dig through it and, and, and really give it a, a, a once over, uh, have not had a chance to really sit down and, and read it to, uh, find out what details I can, I can learn from it. Um, as you can see, it's a fairly thick book. Um, all about knives, scabbards, and sheaths. Um, there's a, a big section on, sax sheaths um which I've, I've had a hard time getting a good broad view of um there are other uh books here and there that go into sword scabbards <clears throat> what defines a sword scabbard how they're constructed uh how they're finished out um and and again they're they're pieces here and there that don't provide a, a full view. Here we've got the better part of 100 pages, uh, 80 pages of uh, <clears throat> sword scabbards and uh, how they're constructed, how they're put together, uh, different shapes. So um, that's pretty key. And then it goes into daggers, um, which is seems to be a little bit of a hybrid between a sheath and a scabbard. Uh, and they go into some of that, as well as the uh, metal fittings and how they're attached and how they're used. Um, and a few other things at the end. There's a, a few cases for 
scissors and sh uh, shears. So um, I, again, the, the drawings are outstanding, uh, discussing the different stitches, um, talking about the terminology. So when you're reading the book, you, you can figure out what stitches that they're talking about. So I uh, hope you all um, found this interesting. Um, the book is pretty cheap uh, comparatively. It's, uh, I believe, 37 euros. Um, and again, brand new. So if you want to be cutting edge, uh, here's, here's a good, uh, good place to start. Comment uh, below what you think. Uh, have any of you used any of these books before? Uh, what do you think of them? And hit like, subscribe for more information, and I hope to see you again soon.